Snowmobiles of all shapes and sizes were buzzing throughout Pequot Lakes this afternoon. Our Anthony Scott tells us why there are more than 100 antique snowmobiles in central Minnesota this weekend. To me, the big kick is finding something out in the woods in a barn and putting the life back into it again. They're just taking it for that first ride and just going out there, just hear, you know, hearing the, the, the clatter. People from all walks of life are in Pequot Lakes this weekend for the 25th annual Snowmobile Rendezvous. First year we had 30 snowmobiles show off, but those 30 people had a good time. They went back and they told other people the next year doubled and every year it's gotten bigger. What started as a one-day event has now turned into a three-day event, drawing more than 200 people to central Minnesota to show off their antique snowmobiles. A lot of these shows you go to is go, 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 and then everybody leaves. Here we go out on the trail. Uh, We'll stop along the way and visit. Today, the 200 plus riders drove their antique snowmobiles two miles to Timberjack Smokehouse, and then they went up the Paul Bunyan Trail to have a bonfire. But the ride is no easy task when you are dealing with snowmobiles that are 50 plus years old. You can jump on a new sled right from point A to point B, but to get on one of these things at four below today, I mean, we are the Antique Snowmobile Club of America, and sometimes I think we're more of a therapy group for ourselves more than anything. So, Snowmobiles of all types and ages were at the trail ride this afternoon, but none were as special as one snowmobile that made a cross-country journey 50 years ago. Skidoo was going to go to the North Pole, and I said, you know, they're going to get a lot of publicity out of this. We ought to do something where we get some publicity. And I said, how about crossing the North American continent? And they did. In 1966, Jim Langley and his friend went from Vancouver, Canada to Portland, Maine, a 4,030-mile journey that took 21 days. The stunt raised publicity for Polaris, and thanks to a family in Roseau, 50 years later, Jim was reconnected with his sled. The chassis was found in the woods, and the family from Roseau reconstructed it. Jim had to come back to see his old sled. The people that... Uh put my original sled back together here, uh, I told them I would be there. And it's people like that that make snowmobiling such a unique culture. Reporting from Pequot Lakes, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Tomorrow is the final day of the snowmobile rendezvous. All of the antique sleds will be on display in Pequot Lakes doing demonstrations throughout the day. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.